Hello everybody, I'm Ray Wood and today we're going to look at how to create a real estate Facebook fan page. So one of the first things that you're going to need to look at is what name you want to use. Now you might remember me talking uh, during the events that uh, me talking about the fact that you are better off using the place name and real estate where you are and the example I'm going to use today is Bendigo. Bendigo is a town in Victoria, a city I should say. Um, so I'm going to use Bendigo as the example. So um, why we want to use a place name rather than your own name is that people are going to search for example Bendigo real estate more than they're going to search Bill Smith who might be an agent in Bendigo, right? So we want to capture those people that don't know about us as yet. We want to engage them with our free book offer on our Facebook page that we're going to be building for you. But you need to be the administrator of your of your site. And I'm going to show you how to set that up in a sec of your page uh, because you're the one who's going to be controlling it. We're going to be helping you and you'll be appointing us to help you set up the graphics, etc. So it's a little complex, but bear with me, we will get there. And if you watch this video a couple of times, you'll understand exactly how to do it. So choosing your name. Now, in Google, you can do a keyword tool search, or if you just go to google.com and you search the phrase keyword tool, you will be able to find out in your area how many searches there are for, say, Nelson Real Estate or Melbourne Real Estate or Adelaide Real Estate or Wellington Real Estate, whatever it might be. Here's the example I'm using for Bendigo Real Estate. So you can see here, Bendigo Real Estate, there are 14,800, nearly 15,000 global monthly searches for Bendigo Real Estate. So that would be a name that I would want to get. I would want to have facebook.com forward slash Bendigo Real Estate, because that's a good generic name that I can use to market my Facebook page and my offer. So the first option is obviously Bendigo Real Estate. If that's taken or I can't get it, try Real Estate Bendigo. And the third option would be Real Estate in Bendigo. So that's ultimately at the end how it's going to how it's going to look. Now you might wonder why we would want to use a name like that. Firstly, and I think there's a few reasons, it's the most common searched keyword phrase. I just showed you before how there's nearly 15,000 global monthly searches. Uh, it's easy to remember. Uh, it doesn't carry any ego baggage. And remember what I talked about here at the events as well. What's in it for your clients, not, not what's in it for you. If we focus all of our marketing towards our clients and uh, we establish or we make our offer what's in it for them, then uh, you'll find that your strike rate will go through the roof. And finally, it's short and sweet and it's easy to market. So let me have a look here at... Um, or let me show you now how you can create a page, a, a fan page in Facebook. So firstly, you can see up here, uh, I, I have gone facebook.com forward slash pages. So I'm going to click enter on that. And this page will come up. So over here, I'm going to click on the right, create page. And I'm going to click on this left hand box, local business or place. Now it's important here because Google Maps will, will be grabbing this information and when people do a search in Google Maps, your business will be coming up if you put it in here as well because that's what something that, that will cross over straight away. Um, so choose a category. I'm going to go for real estate, business or place, Bendigo real estate. Street address, let's just give a generic 21 Smith Street, Bendigo in Victoria, zip code, not sure what it is, but I'm sure it starts with a three if it's in Vic, and there is a phone number. I'm going to agree to the terms, and I'm going to get started. Now, for the time being, that's pretty well all you need to do, because you're going to be grabbing this URL here at the top of the page and you're going to be saving it. I want you to save that in a safe place, maybe in a file on your desktop because when we send you the form that you need to complete to choose your Facebook template and give us the essential information that we'll need to build your page, we'll be needing that link because that will link back to your page. So that's pretty well all you need to worry about doing at this point. Um, you don't need to upload any images. Just get to that point then we can take over and um, create your page and we're looking forward to doing that for you very soon.